Okay, part four of my tutorial on how to modify the LG View using Microsoft Windows XP Professional or Home uh, editions. Okay, um, if you have Windows Vista or, or a Mac, check back for tutorials for your operating systems. Okay, let's get straight into it. Um, we've This is our row of icons that we're going to be working with. Now, the WinRAR we've already installed, so let's move on to the LG USB modem driver. Okay, when you double click this icon, let me pull up the picture tutorial here. This is the icon as it will appear on your desktop. When you double click this, uh, you're going to get um, <coughs> this little uh, security warning pop up. You want to select Run, then it's going to start installing the drivers and then this this box will pop up three times and the reason that this box is popping up is because the drivers have not been tested um, have not passed Windows logo testing so so uh, just hit continue anyway three times in total uh, and then you want to select OK uh, and then the drivers will be installed Okay, now, what you should do now uh, is go ahead and plug the phone into the PC for the first time. Uh, before you uh, plug the phone into the PC for the first time, what you need to do is make sure that you are in data service mode. Okay, so with the phone in data service mode, go ahead and connect it to the computer. Once you connect it to the computer for the first time, you're going to see a little icon appear beside your clock. Once that icon has appeared and went away, you're going to get uh, the found new hardware wizard. It's going to open and, and ask you to begin uh, installing the drivers. Um, so you would click no, not at this time, and then click next, and then install recommended. This is for the composite USB device. So install recommended and click next. It's going to search for that and it will find it and it will not be tested, um, it will not pass the Windows logo testing so you need to hit continue anyway. Then you hit finish to complete the composite device. Then a second uh, hardware, new hardware wizard will pop up and it will be for the USB modem. Again you want to do recommended and next. Then it's going to search for it. It's not going to be passed, hit continue anyway and then you want to complete it by hitting finish. And then finally, a third uh, new hardware wizard will pop up with this, the serial port. Do the exact same thing again. Install recommended. Uh, it will search for it, it will find it, and it won't be tested. Click continue anyway, and then click finish. <coughs> Once you have finished it, we'll say that your new uh, hardware is installed and ready to use. That is a good thing. Also, once that has popped up, you should get System Setting Change uh, pop up here, and it's going to ask you to restart your computer, and of course you want to restart your computer. And once you have restarted your computer, what you need to do is um, go ahead and disconnect the phone, and let's um, work with some more icons here. Once the computer is back up and running and the phone is disconnected, come to the <coughs> LG KU990, which is your EFS tool, and you want to right click on that, and you want to come up and hit Extract Files. And for some reason, my computer is running extremely slow. Okay. Uh, what you want to do is hit Desktop in the Extraction Path and click OK. Once you have done so, you're going to see this icon appear on your desktop. This is EFS. So what you need to do is, is uh, place it into a portion of your desktop that is unused so that we can keep everything uh, neatly organized here. Okay, next, come to the Extended Interface Package version 0.5, right click on it, and come up to Extract Files. Click there, and click Desktop, and click OK, and it will extract several folders to your desktop. <coughs> of one of which of one of these folders will be your phone's model folder and in my case I need this CU920 so what I'm going to do is drag my extended interface package folder 
up with my EFS tool. Now, LGMDP, you do not need to worry about installing that. So now we have the three uh, major uh, icons uh, here in a group. So next thing what you need to do is make an LG View backup folder. And you can do that by right clicking here uh, in a blank part of your icon screen. And you can come down and hover, hover over new and select folder. And you want to name this LG View Backup. And then just click over in a blank spot to set the folder name. Once you have done so, you will have the four um, programs that you will be using, two folders and two programs. If you did have problems with the uh, EFS tool, make sure that your antivirus is disabled. Mine is not, and I am running it fast, a vast. So I would want to disable that if I could not find this icon or if this icon did not extract. Um, if you have an antivirus um, program that you do not know how to disable, you can keyword search that into Google. Um, type in something like, how do I disable McAfee or Norton, and you'll get some information there on how to disable your antivirus program. Okay, so <clears throat> in the next part, we're going to be connecting the view to install the extended interface package.